Yeah, yeah, I've seen it. Who haven't seen it? The Corridor's anime rock, paper, scissors video is blowing up everywhere and it got you people triggered. First of all, let me get this out of the way. I'm not saying it looks amazing. In fact, the fact that they even call this an anime, it is downright disrespectful in my eyes. But I see such, I see, I see the bigger picture, guys. I just think it looks amazing. Well, it looks amazing for a different reason. I'm, well, I'm impressed for a different reason. And it's all because these guys, which many of you claim don't have a talent bone in their body, and produce this animated video, quote unquote, with simply aided by artificial intelligence. Machine, a machine, a group of codes made this. A group of codes gives these guys the talent, talentless acts of their very own anime video. And I just think that's amazing. Now, to be fair, to be fair, to be an artist takes years and years and years of honing one's craft. So I can see why the purists out there are, you know, not too happy to see that the AI is mimicking or taking inspiration to create and give people or, or the normal people who can't necessarily um, did you know a bit of a shortcut to get something looking kind of close to what their hard work has put in. I get that part, and then also get the part with this new AI influx we are getting over the last year. That you know the worry is that will machine eventually replace um, what you know. The purest, the pure work, the pure work of an artist, you know, where you can see the life and soul in one's work. And that's understandable, you know, that is understandable. You know, nobody wants to, this is the same with Jack GPT coming about. You know, writers and copywriters and marketers are slightly worried about losing their place in this world thanks to this AI machinery, you know. But I guess what I'm trying to say is that. I'm just looking at what they produce and I'm saying, you know, first of all, I don't think any of you great artists out there have to worry, great animators out there have to worry about anything because, you know, I'm looking at the video again as it rolled here and of course you can immediately see that it lacks that human element, it lacks the human soul that one artist will pour into his work. And I think, you know, people, smart enough people who know their stuff will still prefer um yeah humans work over the ai but what what really gets me more amazed what, what what really gets me pumped for what they create here is that imagine this if you use these AI as a tool to enhance your talent your work what you can envision and create just imagine what probably you can pull off you know you see these guys doing this and again we say they don't have the, the, the means or the talent but this is what they can produce then imagine this in the hands of the next Van Gogh, next you know Leonardo da Vinci man this could you can imagine maybe or the possibility it would do for someone who's a talented artist and you know he's, he's don't have us a group of studio heads or studio workers to help him produce the next animated film, for instance. You know, it it, it is excites me what more technology can grow to to aid those that are really um, the true artists and what they can produce out of it. If they can match their own artistic um, nuances to with the technology it might be able to really revolutionize what we come to expect and from indie creators then, for, for instance. So, yeah, you know, and I guess, of course, they, they admitted that they take frames and outright rip frames from other animes to produce, other people work to produce this. And as long as they're not going around claiming that, oh, their, their stuff is as good as any, real artist work you know i think that yeah it's fine it's cool it's a cool tech 
you know it, it's kind of scary that it could be your work one day be ripped off but again I, I just don't ever see the AI matching what a real human can do so that it, I wouldn't worry I wouldn't worry at all I just I would be excited I'd be saying all right they can do this and I got 10 times the talent they have so you know I can produce 10 times the result they have with, and with this technology it will be much easier much be, probably even much better it will make my life easier and you know who doesn't want their life easier so again you know th th again thanks again to corridors for showing what can be done show off the ai to us to be anyway and you know i, I would never fault any pure artist who, or animator who would say they would never touch ai they're good enough on their own that's fine I'm excited. I'm excited. Um, you know, we've been, we, I've been self teaching myself Blender for so much years and I stink at it. And, you know, what I want to tell stories, I love to, sh sh I, I'm a storyteller and I see animation as one of the best medium to tell those stories. So anything, any AI, AI that comes about that will won't, well, that won't necessarily do the work for me, but enhance my work or enhance my level of storytelling to help produce something. I'm all for it. So anyway, that's just my take. Kudos, Corridor, kudos. And please, like, subscribe and share. Thanks for watching.